Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting a new vlog today. I am currently in the city. The last video that you guys saw was us doing a ton of renovations and projects on our house upstate. I'll have a link down below in case you guys are interested and missed it. I'm in the new spot. You guys saw the moving vlog. Some things have changed. We still have some work and decluttering to do here because was a lot smaller than our last space a lot of like random favorites to share in this video some books i'm reading i'm gonna share like the design process for our outdoor roof terrace that we're working on which is up that spiral staircase so i'd love to get some feedback from you guys on and yeah it's spring nearly summer is what it feels like in the city and it's just so lively being in a new neighborhood honestly makes me feel like i just moved to new york again i don't even know my way around the neighborhood really yet without directions so it's been really fun to explore and everything things have been super hectic and busy on the work side for me things are going well laszlo is adjusting to the new place okay he's definitely been a little bit more anxious than usual but i think he's enjoying it there is my salad delivery okay calling it a salad was a bit of a stretch this is my dig in order i got kale caesar there's supposed to be tofu down in there because i'm not seeing it maybe it's buried sweet potatoes and their mac and cheese. Okay, actually I'm dumb. This is the tofu. It kind of looks the same as the sweet potatoes, but it's actually really good. I've mainly been getting chicken or salmon lately. If you guys have been following along for a while, you know I was vegan for quite a long time. My body feels so much better since I started eating meat again. Cheese, I can't say the same thing about, but but meat and fish have definitely done some good things for me. So in this vlog, I wanted to give you guys an update on my current skincare routine. You may have seen in a video, three or four videos back now, I introduced you guys to a company called Proven Skincare. I have their products right here. They basically create a custom, simple skincare routine based on your answers to their skin genome quiz. It's based on your skin conditions, any concerns that you have what area you live in. I went a bit more in depth in my first video, but for example, skin concerns that I have, I have minor eczema, which is kind of the bane of my existence. I've been dealing with some acne since switching off of hormonal birth control, so I really wanted a tailor-made formula that could address all my concerns, and when Proven reached out, I thought that their concept was so cool. Their approach is completely backed by data, and it goes much more in depth than I initially expected it to. Like, they take into consideration the humidity and the water hardness level in your community. The UV index, they actually analyze 47 factors in their skin genome quiz that you can take on their website. And then they come up with your personalized routine so here i have my personalized cleanser this is my personalized day moisturizer and this has spf 40 in it and also a night cream so i've been using the products for about six weeks i actually just got a notification that my subscription replenishment is on the way so with proven you can start with a subscription-based model or you can do a one-time purchase you save money with a subscription-based model since using the products i've definitely noticed a difference in the moisture barrier on my skin I'm only wearing some tinted moisturizer right now so you can see my skin. And like I said, I deal with minor eczema, but I also have combination skin where my skin is a bit oily on my nose, which makes it a little bit difficult for me to find skincare products that work well for me. These took all of that into consideration and I've definitely noticed a difference. I love how simple this is. I'm not using a million products in my morning and nighttime skincare routines. So if you guys want to give Proven a try, they've created a special offer and coupon code for you all. I'll have all the info in the description box below and also on the screen here. You can simplify your routine while giving your skin exactly what it needs by trying Proven Skincare's three-step skincare system for 50% off using my code kaylee 99 thank you so much to proven for partnering with me on this video he always has to knock the pillows down and make himself a little we always call it a fortress are you sleepy today you did wake me up at 5 a.m with your tummy ache if you have a pet or your couch just needs to clean we just got our steam cleaned honestly they're still drying a little bit i kind of want to steam some bits of it but it's linen so it also gets wrinkled pretty quickly it was so worth it i thought we would have to dry clean all the pieces to clean the couch which would be insanely expensive but the steam clean was like 150 dollars and they came they did it i used that company new york city steamers if you're in the city and i think it was so worth it 
Since the last moving vlog, we hung up that Robert Stoneman light over there. I love it so much. It used to be in our bedroom, but it just kind of made sense in this space. We also hung our pendant lights. And I think I would love like a big piece of art to put on the wall here. And this is the rest of our situation. I think that brown chair is actually gonna come here because this table is gonna be going upstate. We got this cute new lamp for our bedroom. I got it from a store called Beam. It's like stainless steel on the top. It's also on a dimmer, which I love. Okay, I'm sitting on my floor because it's afternoon now and this is when the lighting is best. But I wanted to talk a bit about books. I haven't shared anything about books on my channel in a while now. I honestly was not reading for probably like the last six months very much. I feel like when I get stressed out, I stop reading and it's really bad because it helps me relieve stress and relax so much. I've just been watching too much TV, especially even like reality TV, like Love Island. And survivor and all of those shows that i feel like you can just get really sucked into but they're honestly a bit mind-numbing and reading is also nice to do you know everything in moderation went to the mcnally jackson and williamsburg the other day because now i'm within walking distance of it i also learned that now they're doing like a membership program i think it was like 20 dollars and then you can get 10 percent off all of your books for a year seems so worth it this is the book that i'm currently reading i watched this series when it first came out during the pandemic it got me super into chess i will say if you don't have like a basic knowledge of chess this book is probably not going to be very fun to read because it really goes through chess moves and chess games with all the details it's basically about a young girl who grew up in an orphanage she learns chess from the janitor in the orphanage she gets herself into a lot of trouble she's like addicted to tranquilizers by fall of the orphanage and she eventually gets adopted there's a lot of like family drama in the adoption and she's pretty much like a little adult at like age eight and she's a little chess prodigy too she goes to play around the world reading this has been so fun it's definitely gotten me back into reading and then here are my new books i think most of these are recent releases i've definitely seen a few of them come up but i'd love to hear your thoughts if you've read any of them maybe we could read them together the first book i have is called the nursery it's by Sylvia Molnar. I'm just gonna give you guys like a brief overview of what it's about. Maybe read the blurb. This book is a visceral and revelatory portrait of the joy and tumult of new motherhood that reveals how difficult and fragile those postpartum days can be and how vital love is to pull in one out of the dark. So it definitely seems like it could be quite triggering. I have never been a mother before. I've never given birth. I really, really love reading books from a mother's perspective though. I've never really had a close relationship with a mother figure in my life, so I think that's probably why I love reading about it so much. And I'm super excited to be a mom one day too. This one is from the New York Times Book Review last year. It's called The Immortal King Rao by Vahini Vara. Here's the blurb. It says, from a coconut plantation in South India to graduate studies in Seattle to a dynamic marriage. Sorry, outside. To a dynamic marriage with a brilliant woman to undisputed dominance as the world's most accomplished CEO, the meteoric rise of the optimistically named King Rao will eventually make him head of a global board of corporations in which all citizens are shareholders. But success breeds scandal, an affair with a transgressive performance artist, political protest, and fall. One day his daughter, Athena, must reckon with his legacy, literally, for he has given her access to his own memories. In the wake of his possible murder, Athena seeks to set the record straight about her father's past and her own rebellion for her self-preservation and from our collective future. Very layered. I love a business-focused book. I'm so sad that Succession is ending. That's a series I've been watching. So I've been looking for something to kind of fill that gap. Even though this is totally different, but I think this one might be the one I read next. I really love this book cover. The next one I got is Revenge of the Scapegoat. It's by Karen Balin. It's a satire novel that touches a lot on familial trauma. Iris, an adjunct at a city arts college, receives a terrible package recently unearthed letters that her father wrote to her in her teens in which he blames her for their family's crises. Driven by the raw fact of receiving these devastating letters not once but twice in a lifetime and in a panic of chronic pain brought on by rheumatoid arthritis, 
Iris escapes to the countryside or some absurdist version of it. I'm definitely someone who copes with trauma through humor, so I think I'll definitely enjoy this. And then the next book I got is called Good Girl by Anna Fitzpatrick. This was recommended at McNally Jackson. It's her debut novel. It says, Lucy tries so hard to be good. She was always a good student, tries to be a good friend, a good citizen, a good feminist, and now she wants a lover who will give her a good beating, preferably after tying her up. It's also kind of just about like self-discovery, her becoming a writer. It says, good girl is a thoughtful and endearing portrait of a young woman unsure of what she's supposed to want from a world where the rules keep changing. This sounds like less of a heavy one, although I'm sure there's heavy topics in it and more of a fun read. Okay, I am about to head out. I have some errands to run and strangely, one of my errands that I thought I had to run was to take this bag to the cobbler. This is like a beloved vintage bag of mine. It honestly wasn't very expensive. It's a YSL Mombasa bag. When I bought it, it was like $100. Now they go for like $600 somehow. But I went out last weekend. We had some friends in town that had recently got engaged and we just kind of had a very celebratory weekend with them. And while we were out, the strap on my bag broke, which I have to admit I was drinking. I did not try to fix it at the time. I just continued to carry it around like a clutch, but I just kind of fixed it. Now I feel like I don't need to take it to the cobbler today. It's basically that that came off. This is more how it's supposed to look. I don't know. I need to take it eventually. It's not even the way that I fixed it, but it's still functional for now. So maybe that's going to wait and I think I just need to drop off some dry cleaning. I'm waiting on some deliveries here for work. But I really don't want to get stolen. I also have something for our outdoor roof terrace coming. I've also been kind of off coffee lately. I'm more in the mood for matcha. I've never tried to make matcha at home. But if you guys have any like brand recommendations or a certain kind that I should buy like online or in store somewhere, definitely let me know because... I've been very into it lately. I went to Blue Bottle the other day and I got their seasonal ice matcha, which had like an orange syrup in it and it was delicious, but it was $7. So I will not be doing that. I'd like to make it at home if you guys have any tips. I also need to pick up some things for dinner, like some pico and guac. I think we're making like chicken and bean tacos for dinner. And it kind of looks like it's gonna rain. So I should probably get to it. Just got an Essence package in the mail. I think they'll still be doing it by the time this video goes live, but they have 20% off site-wide. If you're in the US, there are a few exclusions, but I did a little curation on my website. If you guys are interested in doing any like spring, summer, new season shopping. I did get one thing from the sale. I really don't need anything, but I've been wanting a darker pair of sweatpants that are like oversized, baggy, I have. A cream pair from a gold that I love so much, but they don't make them anymore. I saw these Carhartt ones and they had a really similar fit. I'll have to try them on to see if I'm keeping them. With them being 20% off, I thought it would be the perfect time to try them. Hello! Apologies for being on my MacBook again. I did this in a recent video too, but my camera was starting to die. And I wanted to film this so I can start editing this video. But I want to talk about the outdoor roof terrace. You saw a little sneak peek if you watched my moving vlog where I showed you around a little bit. Since then, we've been working on cleaning it up a lot. There's definitely still a lot to do. I'll show you what it looks like right now. So if you didn't watch that first video, all the furniture that's currently up there was already up there. Furniture that the previous tenants left. So I've just been trying to clean it up. And obviously, like I was saying before, make use of what we had. We're really trying to do this on a budget. So, so far, all I've really done is I've replaced those outdoor cushions. Those ones on Amazon. We've also now ordered a table, which I will show you guys. We got one of like the classic Parisian bistro tables by that brand for Mob. A lot of restaurants use their tables. I originally wanted a much bigger table up there. We ended up getting a more like oval shaped table for like four to six people and we also have a coffee table that people can eat on just because i don't want it to feel too crowded up there and how could i forget a few days ago i sanded the coffee table that's up there it still needs another coat of paint but i also painted it black that just seemed to make the most sense at the time it had a very chipped finish on it so i just went over it with a sander and then i've so far painted it with like a flat black paint that's safe for outdoors. I think it turned out pretty well. I could definitely use another coat. I also painted another side table up there black that 
was really like chipped. I kind of hate to just like default to the painting something black, but in some situations it's the easiest way to make something look a little more chic, I think. Definitely could have like refinished it with a wood stain, but that's a lot more work. I did like a really chaotic quick rendering of ideas for the roof terrace. Here they are. I definitely, definitely, definitely want to incorporate some color with flowers. I want to have a lot of plants up there, but again, trying to do this on a budget. So we'll see. At my last place, there was so much beautiful ivy that would grow in the spring and summer. And I know that one's like relatively easy to maintain. Some people think it's invasive, but I think it's really beautiful. So I think just some greenery. I want some plants that are easy to care for. I am still very much so in the learning process about all things plants, all things flowers. So if you guys have any tips for me or any ideas of what we should plant up there, definitely let me know. I want to do like a small herb garden as well. And with the gates that are currently up there, kind of the railings, I guess, I want to cover them a little bit just to make it a bit safer for Laszlo. They're totally to code and like fine, but sometimes when he like hears or sees a bird or something, he can get a little overexcited and I don't want him like peeking over the railing at all because we are on a roof. So if you guys have any ideas for that, let me know. I just got buzzed and I just got this package in the mail. This is actually for the roof terrace. It's like a portable table lamp, but it's actually solar powered. I feel like a lot of those lights are so annoying to charge. Some have longer battery lives, but they're usually really expensive. But we'll see how this solar powered one goes. I got this on Amazon. I think it's cute and functional. See how it goes up there and it's waterproof too. I'll leave this below if you guys are interested. But I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the roof terrace. And I will chat with you guys super soon. Bye!